Hi, I'm Piero. I'm an artist and I love to cook. Welcome to my... Hello everyone and welcome to my show. Today we're going to be cooking some artichoke and actually I'm artichoking in here. Um, but first things first. Whoa. Uh, okay. So I'm so excited to be back. Uh, we're gonna be making uh, Roman artichokes today. This is a traditional Roman recipe. Uh, we're gonna basically be stuffing our artichokes with parsley, calamint, garlic, and a little bit of white wine after in the pot. So we're gonna prep our artichokes. Uh, first thing, of course, wash them. Uh, then they're quite tough on the outside. Um, and so we're actually gonna kind of prep them, take off a little bit of the outside and some of the strings from the stock. And so I'll show you the different steps to do this uh, efficiently and in the right way. The other thing that is important is to put it right away into some water with some lemon in the inside. This prevents it from blackening. So first we're gonna start by cutting off a little bit of the end of this stock here. And the next thing that I like to do is cut the stock about the length of the, or you know, the top part because we're going to put it vertical in our pot um, so I'm going to cut it to size let's say something about that and here I'm going to peel off our stock like this and basically you can see there's a heart to the stock and I'm just going to the outside of it and just peeling off the stringy part and I'm going to put it in my lemon water so it doesn't darken um, good, and now we can move on to our artichokes, the flower itself. So here I'm going to peel off these kind of more tougher leaves and I'm going to be taking a whole bunch of them off. That's really tough. Like this. And there's actually some uses for this that I will share with you later. So you can see at this point uh, what I want to do is just cut the top of this off and uh, so I'm gonna go a little bit in an angle like this and kind of turn it as I'm cutting I don't go all the way through I cut a little and turn cut a little and turn like this so you get this kind of shape uh, like this and then I just give it a little bit of a cut there at the center and then what we gotta do is again take away um, the part of the stock that has the uh, kind of stringy part so I'm just gonna go from the top down like so and if you can just go a little bit into it and if you want you can kind of clean this part off a little bit better it depends how neat you want to get with the presentation something like that for now before it darkens I'm gonna put it in my lemon water right here okay so all our artichokes are nice and prepped Here are the ingredients uh, for our stuffing. So um, there's some parsley, there's some garlic, and my favorite ingredient, which is this calamint, mentuccia. Uh, and this is a very typical uh, in Roman cuisine. It's very used. Um, I love the flavor of this. It's a little bit in between like mint and oregano, let's say, something like that. So if you don't have this ingredient, you can substitute with a little bit of those. So uh, I'm gonna start chopping this uh, into a fine, fine chop. And I'm just going to put this in here. And I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon zest. And then I'm going to put a little salt. Okay, and kind of stir it all around, and we have our condiment. Our flavoring. 
Egypt. So we're ready now to stuff our artichokes with uh, our parsley and calamint and garlic and the lemon zest. Um, so the first step that we want to do is actually putting a little bit of oil into our pot that we're then going to put in the oven. By the way, I already turned on my oven at 100, 180 Celsius. So it's already been heating while I'm doing this. Put just a little bit of oil at the bottom of the pot. You don't want to put too much is just to prevent the artichokes from sticking during the cooking. So I'm just gonna do this. And uh, here I'm going to start prepping one of the artichokes. So you just wanna kind of open it up a little bit, like this. And you're gonna take a little bit of your parsley and just kind of stuff it in there, like this. Okay, and like this. And then you just go and put it in the pot. I'm just gonna take the extra stalks that I had from before and just kind of place them around all my artichokes like this. And I'll just add a little bit of a little bit of olive oil on the top. A pinch of salt. Okay. And then I will put some wine, about a cup to begin, like something like this, half a glass. And I just kind of want to cover the bottom, maybe one centimeter or so. Okay, I will check this as um, it's cooking, just to make sure that the liquid, um, there's always a little bit of liquid in the bottom of the pot, but it's ready to go in the oven. So I'm gonna close it up and just put it in. The carciofis are in the oven. Um, I saved the scraps and I, um, we're gonna make some artichoke liqueur, which is also traditionally Italian. Um, so I just put the scraps in a jar. Essentially to make liqueur, uh, we're gonna add pure alcohol. Uh, let the mixture uh, stay with the artichokes um, for from a week to about a month or so. The more they can stay, the better, but just a week is fine. Uh, and then we're going to have to balance out that pure alcohol with a ratio of water and sugar. Uh, so essentially, uh, for the now for the first step is just about putting all your artichokes. And I want to get about, let's say, maybe a liter of liqueur later. So I'm going to start with um, maybe a little bit under half a liter of uh, uh, pure alcohol. Uh, so that then later on I will add um, about a half a liter of uh, syrup and that will balance things out a little bit more okay so i'm gonna go ahead at this step put in my pure alcohol right there and we'll just give it a little bit of a shake actually artichokes have a great the purity properties so even though this is actually a liqueur it also is good for you so uh, we're gonna basically it's gonna have artichoke extract inside so and every once in a while while this is curing in the next few days just give it a little shake like this that's it have gone by so at this point I'm just gonna give uh, my artichokes a quick look uh, maybe a little taste just to see if I need to add a little salt and so on and I'm just also gonna cover them with a little bit of liquid if again there's not enough liquid just add a little bit of wine or a little bit of water depending on your taste just taste it and see what it needs okay here a little I'll put a little liquid on the top Mmm, tastes delicious. Okay, so I'll just put it back and let it go for a little bit longer. So another 20 minutes or so have gone by, so I'm gonna check them again and see how they're doing. 
Wow, they smell delicious. They're looking really soft. I'll take one out. Oh, here we go. And just to show you, I'm gonna just slice through it. So you're gonna know that the artichoke is ready when it's super soft. Um, so I just cut through it. Um, you know, it, it really depends on the type of artichoke, uh, the season for it uh, that you have. Uh, so, you know, you always have to taste it and just see how you like it. Also, some people like it more cooked or less cooked. It's really a tasting. So I love them super buttery and soft like I made them today. Uh, so now that our carchofis are ready, uh, our artichokes, I should say, uh, we're going to plate them. All right, and as soon as I finish my favorite part, the little stalks of the artichoke a la Romana, I'm going to enjoy a beautiful meal with a little white wine. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, please leave me some comments, pictures of your uh, results. Uh, if you have any questions, um, you know, just let me know. Try some spices. Let me know if you tried something of your own. I would love to know. So everybody, enjoy. Uh, have a good meal, and I'll see you soon.